So today we'll be learning how to cut a wing into an airfoil with width. So the first thing to understand is that we cannot always create a wing like this. We have to reduce the weight and for that generally in our seaplanes, airfoils of widths are put at certain distances and then they are covered with wood or plastic or whatever is required. So today I'll be teaching you how to create an airfoil with a width. So first of all, as you see, I have created this structure. Now the next thing you have to do is go to references, plane, and you just want a top view of this. So first reference I'll be selected as the top plane. And then I'll take a plane one meter above that. Okay. I'll go here, sketch, control eight, now before you before you start making rectangles so and and then using cut extrude to create airfoils of required width uh, you will have to first decide the number of airfoils you need and the width required only after that is decided you have to make the calculations and decide what will be the breadth of your rectangle so i will be needing six airfoils here and for that i will make five rectangles and the width of each airfoil at the end shall be 3 mm for me so bear with me and how i do it i go to center rectangle create this length can be any much it, it doesn't matter here so the next thing to do is go to smart dimension and then this i'll be setting as 3 mm And this breadth of the rectangle is what is important here. According to my calculations and my needs, it will be 0.1964 meters. Now you will have to create rectangles all over here. So I prefer to copy and paste this. Control C, go back to plane 3, Control V, Control V, Control V, and Control V. I have five rectangles. Just arrange them in the order you are going to use them now the next thing would be now that you have now that i have arranged them in my required order now i use smart dimension again 3 mm and here 0.1964 let me just copy this this will be useful okay now please remember to shift this Okay, this has been done. Okay, so as you can see, I have set my dimensions and my breadth has been 0.1964 meters all over. And as you can see, there is this width of 3 mm here. There, that is exactly what I need. And here at the end too. So there are six airfoils here and each are of 3 mm. Uh, that work that work of mine is done here so i'll exit the sketch and then get the isometric view Wait. now the next thing to do is cut extrude very easy method yes i will the sketch is already selected and i took cut extrude dimension to 1.5 meter the depth is 1.5 meter I'll just take a look or look of how it would look if I use this feature. Bodies to keep, all bodies. Okay. And this would be the final product. Proceed with that. And this is what you get. I'll just hide this. 
and if you want you can mirror it also i'll show you how to do that mirror face slash plane you have to select the front plane for that and bodies to mirror and features to mirror this is one important thing to remember features to mirror will probably not work here because everything is different this is not one whole solid body i'll just show you it shows that it shows an error i'll just select wait the cut extrude part if I press OK, this shows an error. So remove it from here and please remember to go to bodies to mirror. Now here I have to, if I press cut extrude, not all of them will, none of them will be selected actually. So I have to select each body here. Now this is the preview of what would come if I use the mirror. And that this is how you do that. So that's it for this video. This was a very small video and I tried my best to explain how to create airfoils for of different widths. Uh, this is a procedure in manufacturing of RC planes. I hope this can help you. Please subscribe for more. Thank you.